I'm back. What's up guys, how we doing? Drowning on land, back again from the grave. I disappeared, but now I'm back here to reclaim my throne. That I never really had, but I'm back. All right, boys, so today we are going to be doing the Shotgun Farmers tier list video. I know it's been forever since I did one of these. I know it's been a while since I've done Shotgun Farmers content in general, but today we're gonna knock out two birds with one stone and we are going to finally get to the new updates. If you like what you're watching, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more amazing content here. So on that note, let's get to the tier list. All right, the first weapon we're gonna be talking about today is the shovel. The shovel is the melee weapon of shotgun farmers. Two hits from the front will kill them. One hit from the back is an assassination. When you use your shovel, you run the fastest that you can inside of shotgun farmers. It's a great weapon to have out when you're trying to traverse the map. And honestly, really good at killing people if you know how to use it. And for that reason, and you always have it on you, I will always put this in the A list. I think that's where it was last time we did the tier list, but I think we're gonna keep it there because honestly, it's good at what it does. So let's just let's just keep it where it is. That's its home. A for awesome. The next weapon we're gonna talk about is one of the classic guns of the game. And you know, what What other would we wanna talk about than the classic shotgun? The shotgun is a close medium to short range weapon. As anything past that, it's gonna be hard to land your shots, but you can still get some kills off if you're lucky. Shotgun is very good for close quarter combat and can really pack a punch for how many bullets it can hold. And you know, personally, if I even go look at my stats, I have the most kills with the shotgun and it's, it's just one of those weapons that, to me, I want to use all the time. Like if, if I find a shotgun on the ground, odds are I'm going to pick it up just because it's, it's just that good, packs a punch and it really hurts with that close range fighting. And for that reason, I'm going to put this into the S tier. Such a great weapon, and I can't complain. Oh, and also with the shotgun, you can also do the shotgun jump, which can get you an extra boost into the air, which can always throw off your opponents to then get a quick sneaky shot from the sky. And who doesn't love that? And speaking of shots from the sky, let's talk about the Karakan Launcher. The Karakan Launcher is the rocket launcher of shotgun farmers. This weapon here is a strong shot that comes out of nowhere and blows up your enemy if anywhere close to them or if it hits them. Great weapon, and just like the shotgun, if you shoot it towards the ground, it will launch you into the air, which will help you get height advantage, and also you can get some pretty cool trick shots with that along the way. The only problem I would say with it is you're, you're kind of slow, and which makes you kind of an easier target to hit. But honestly, I think the power that goes behind it is enough to kind of kind of keep it in its place. And for that reason, last time we did a tier list, it was it was sitting in A right behind the shovel here. But I think I think this is the time that A finally earns its ranks to me. And you know what? We're throwing that puppy into S tier. That's right. Right out of the gate, we got two S tiers. Like, come on, drowning on lane. Let's be honest. Is it really that good? And I will say. Yes, it is good. And this is my tier list. And speaking of tier lists, if you want to make your own tier list, I have the link down in the description where you can make your own tier list. And then I would love to see your results. So please put it in my Discord under Shotgun Farmers tier list. I would love to see your guys' tier list. And I would love for you to explain why stuff is where it is. Anyway, let's let's get back to the tier list. Let's, let's get back to it. Next weapon that we have on the tier list is the Pvolver. The Pvolver is the revolver of shotgun farmers. This weapon here is a nice six shooter that is a good small to medium range, I would say. It takes about two shots for a body shot. One shot to the head is pretty much an instant kill unless they got a shield on you. Honestly, it's a pretty good weapon. Me personally, I'm not good with it. It's one of those weapons as I run around, I kind of avoid because I know I'm just, I'm not good with landing shots with it. But if you could, if you can master it, I honestly would say that it would be a great gun to use. As this is my own tier list, I, I'm not good with aiming shots with it as I can get some sneaky shots in here and there. But I would rank this about, about in the B list. B sounds good. 
Nah, he's good. He's good. I think that's where it was last time, but I, I honestly don't remember. It is a good weapon, though. It is a really, really good weapon. Um, yeah, laser shots, nerds. <laughs> Next weapon. Next weapon we're going to be talking about, the Sniparagus rifle. The Sniparagus is a semi-auto sniper rifle inside a shotgun farmer's. This gun is pretty much a point-click kill weapon as you just hover over your opponent's head. One click, one dead. That's all I really have to say. It, this is a all-range weapon, short to long range. If you hit an enemy with it, body shot, it takes about two, maybe three shots per kill. As a headshot, it's pretty much an instant kill, unless they got a shield. Sometimes it just drops them down to like very, very last health. But overall, it's a good weapon. I'm slowly trying to get better at it, as this has pretty much become the meta of shotgun farmers is the sniper. But, um, you know, really fun to do trick shots with the two. Me, I'm not doing trick shots, but crazy kids online are doing all these shots all the time. Just because I'm not good with it, but I do know the absolute power that's behind this. Last time I put it in a B tier, I am bumping this up to an A. I think I didn't give it enough respect as I did last time. And I'm sorry. I, I, I'm I, sorry to all the people out there that are like drowning on land. Are you stupid? Uh, to that I say... Yeah, maybe I was, but I ask that you forgive me. Next weapon we're talking about. Oh my gosh, uh, this this uh, this item has been all over my tier list before. It literally has been bottom to top to bottom. And we today we're gonna be talking about the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is pretty much the grenade launcher of shotgun farmers, as. You take a shot and it rolls on the ground and explodes. The explosion radius of this gun is not that good, I would say. I would say it just needs a slight buff for it to be better. There were a few updates ago where it was pretty much a once it touched the ground it exploded, which made it absolutely insane. But it's been nerfed for the longest time. And now if you shoot someone directly with it, it blows up instantly, which is nice. I think it redeems it a little bit. As last time I did this tier list, I had this in a D, if I remember correctly. I think for this tier list, we are going to bump it up to C, as from my last tier list, I feel like it does have a little bit of a buff. Like I said, the explosion radius could be a little bit better. This isn't going to be the first gun that I'm going to pick up if I find it. But, you know, it's good for what it is. And if I don't have any weapons around, I'd rather have this than nothing. So, I would say we are going to put this inside of C. Because why not? Alright, now this next weapon here. <laughs> I'm so sad to say this. I, I've always had a deep love for this weapon. But every single time an update comes out for this game, I just feel like it gets more and more nerfed. I know everyone's probably like, Drowning Land, where are you talking about? All these weapons are pretty balanced. Eh, I would beg a differ. I might get some flack for this. I might not. Um, but we're going to be talking about the chili thrower now. Chili thrower is the flamethrower of shotgun farmers, and this gun, it's, it's alright. The only thing it really has going for it now is the burn effect after you light someone on fire, as it does like 5 damage per burn. I honestly don't remember, but it's, it doesn't even last that long to really kill him. The problem is you gotta burn through half, your, half or more of your ammo to even get close to a kill. And last time I did tier list, I believe I had this in the B list. It really hurts my heart to say I'm probably going to drop this down to D as I am going to do it now. It's just, it just doesn't pack the punch that it used to. This weapon used to be so good, so strong. And it just it wanted you to keep using it. It was fun. It was great to just goof around and to kill people. But it just it just doesn't have the power that it used to have. And you know why that... That's the part of life. So we, we got to move on from where we were and push forward to a brighter and better future, hoping that the chili thrower gets the buff that it deserves. Probably not. Okay. The next weapon we're going to talk about on our list is it's one of the, I would say, assault rifle kind of guns in the game. We're talking about the M6 Bean. The M16 is a tri-shot rifle inside of shotgun farmers. It's it's a good gun, honestly. Like, if you land your shots with it, it can really, really put some harm on your enemies, especially with the three shots coming out of the gun at a time. If you hit him in the head with all three of those shots, 
pretty much instant kill, and the try shot for it is pretty rapid, so you can usually outgun your opponent when you have this bad boy. Also, this is one of the healing weapons of shotgun farmers, as if you have one of the teammates down on the ground, you are able to revive them and also give them health as you play the game. Um, last time I played, I think I had this in A. Honestly, I do think it has been nerfed a little bit since last time I've done a tier list. So sadly, I think I'm going to drop it from an A down to a B. And so far from what I noticed from this list is I'm definitely more spread out than what I used to be for my tier lists, which that's fine. Change happens and change isn't bad. It only makes us better. All right. And for our next weapon, we are talking about the strawberry. The strawberry is the bow of shotgun farmers. And I will tell you this, it is a fun weapon to goof around with. But it absolutely sucks. You take pop shots with this thing, and like you need like two or three body shots to really get a kill. The only thing it really has going for it is the speed that you have when you're running around with it. As I believe it is the same or faster than the shovel. And then if you get a headshot with it, it is it's pretty much an instant kill. It's also one of the healing weapons of Shotgun Farmer, so if you notice your teammate is low on health and you can shoot them, they can get health back. But the problem with Shotgun Farmer is I feel like the movements are oh, pretty finicky, as in like the characters or your players and enemies. They move kind of kind of rigid, so it's kind of like a hard to aim down on them. I mean, some people are pretty good with it. I've seen it good. Personally, me, I can't land the shot for my life. And I feel like as some of the other weapons got buffs and nerfs throughout the game. I believe that this was in my C list. I gotta drop it down to D. I don't think it's as good as it was. I do think it could be better if you just really put in the time to use it. But if I see this or the chili thrower on the ground, I'm not picking them up. If it's the last thing on the ground, yeah, I'll pick it up. Just to have that little range, but besides that, no. Nah, nothing. No purpose here. But that's fine. That's cool. Whatever. Next thing we're going to talk about is the Water LMG. This is the LMG, light machine gun, of shotgun farmers. This is a heavy, medium to long range weapon. It's also good up close. I would say the problem of this gun is the shooting. It takes a, it takes about two, one to two seconds to warm up the gun before you start shooting lasers. And I feel as if this gun is going against other guns, like the shotgun, the Pavolver, the M16, you are probably going to get outshot. It does pack a punch and it does shoot laser beams across the map. The only problem is trying to do any kind of close range. It's a slow weapon, which makes you an easy target for snipers. It's a fun gun to use. It really does pack a punch. I think last time I did the tier list here, I had this up in S. I think I'm actually going to drop this down to a B. I, I hate to say it. I mean, it's a good weapon. Actually, let me, let me, let me recalculate. No, it's a B. Compared to the other guns in the game, I feel like it's just too slow to really keep up with the competition. It makes you slow, which makes you an easy target. It shoots kind of slow compared to other guns. It packs a punch. It really beams in shots, but it's 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 tough, man. It's tough. It's good, but man, it's tough. But I think B is a happy home for her now. It hurts for me to see it drop down, but just knowing that that's just how it is sometimes. The next weapon we're going to talk about is a personal favorite of mine, and it has a special place in my heart. And that's right, everybody. We are talking about the Double Cobb. Double Cobb is a crop drop exclusive, as it only comes out of the crop drop. This gun is pretty much a souped up shotgun. This gun can do a higher shotgun jump. It lands shots easier, I would say, compared to the shotgun. And it really, really hits them hard. Pretty much a one-shot kill from short to medium range is an insta-kill. And what's great about this weapon is this gun feeds off of shotgun ammo. So if you pick this up and you pick up shotgun ammo on the ground or sh pick up shotgun guns off the ground, it refills your weapon. And since the shotgun is the spawning weapon in the game, you're pretty much always going to have ammo for this gun around the map. So at that point, you have a chance of never running out of ammo. Just watch your back so you don't get killed. Um, the only downside I would say to this weapon is the reload. It's a little tough. You got two shots and then you reload. So eh, besides that, 
it's a great weapon. You kind of run the same speed as a shotgun, maybe a tad slower, but it's it's a good gun all around. Um, last time I had this in S tier, it's got to go back to S tier. It's the only place for this thing, and it's, I just feel like it's well balanced compared to the other guns. It has a range from that short to like medium range, but that's fine. Shotguns aren't made for range. They're made for up close, up in your business. Fool, fam, you dig? So that's where I'm gonna put it. At that point, we have knocked out all of the base guns in shotgun farmers. They are knocked out. They are good. This is like the OG list of the shotgun farmer weapons. Now we're gonna move on to the guns that came in with the update. So we are going to move on to the Hey K. The Hey K47 is the AK47 of shotgun farmers. Who knew? This gun here, it's a good medium to long range weapon. You can take nice pop shots off your enemies. The only problem that I really have with it, I would say, is the damage. It takes about six, seven, eight shots on the body to get a kill. As in a headshot, it takes about three to four shots, roughly, depending on if they have shields or not. Overall, it's a good weapon. You maintain the same speed as like the shotgun and all the other weapons. It's it's a good weapon. It's fun to use. It's fun to pick up and just run around and go hey K crazy. You know what I'm saying? This gun, last time I did a tier list, I had it in the A list. And and I, I don't know, it's it's a fun weapon to use, but I don't know if I want to keep it that high in the list. I I mean, look at the other weapons that are underneath it. I, yeah, you know what? It's going to stay in A. It has a good place in my heart, and it's a fun weapon to use. It really is. The next weapon we are now going to talk about is the Beat Action Rifle. The B action rifle is pretty much the 50 cal sniper of shotgun farmers. This is really one of the only weapons in shotgun farmers that you really have to like lead your shots to use. Which, don't get me wrong, it makes it fun, it makes it challenging, but wow. If anyone has the, the semi-auto sniper rifle and you have this sucker, odds are you will be shot and killed first. Now, one bright side of this weapon that it does have like a thermal like see-through vision. I really don't know how to say it. You can see people through buildings and you can kind of like judge where they're going to come from, which is really nice. It's really cool. Um, I see more potential in this more in like the trick shot community. It's fun to goof around and just kind of shoot. In game, it's all right. A headshot's an instant kill. And sometimes a body shot's an instant kill. Sometimes it takes two shots. And just, you're also slow with it. Like, there's just, I feel like there's way more negatives than there are positives for this gun. As it is super fun, if you want to kill other people, I don't see this high on the list. This is more of a trick shot weapon, as I said earlier. And for that reason, I'm going to throw it in the C tier. I just, I don't see that much potential in it. Maybe people are seeing something that I don't. I don't know. But if you're good at this weapon, good for you because you now have a weapon that no one else is going to pick up. Congratulations. You played yourself. C list. There you go. Welcome home. Welcome to the list. Heat action rifle. It's great to have you. Heat to have you so low on the list. It's great to have you. Now let's talk about the newest weapon adding to Shotgun Farmer. This is. The Uzukini. Uzukini is the little SMG of shotgun farmers. This little guy, for the size of it, has 32 shots. And these shots, honestly, they're pretty dead accurate if you're anywhere within close range. Medium range, it starts to get a little hectic. But if you're close range, it takes about four or five shots in the head for a kill. As in the body, it takes roughly 10. Honestly, I would say it's a good strong weapon. I just don't know how good it is compared to the other weapons around it. I mean, I've used it and how much I've used it. I think I have a good judgment for it. I definitely don't think it's going to be down here in D. I don't see it in C. This is a good, I would say, B list. We're going to slap it into the B tier because you, since it's small, you have a little bit more speed just with the firepower of how many bullets you can shoot compared to the others. You can definitely outshoot your opponents. It just depends on how far away and how much you can keep the recoil under control. The recoil is even that bad. It's just one of those weapons you have to land all your shots if you really want it to do what you want it to do. As simple as that. All right, we have now finished all the weapons inside of shotgun farmers, and now we are going to work on the throwables. 
The throwables are such an important part of the game as they are able to add an advantage for you to kill your opponents and to put them into a disadvantage with the different abilities and effects that come off of the weapon. So on that note, let's talk about the pineapple aid. The pineapple aid is a grenade of shotgun farmers. If you left click, you throw this sucker pretty far. The only problem is it has kind of a short fuse, so you really can't land on your enemies as well. You're able to cook the pineapple, so then as you throw it, it can explode in the air and have a better chance of hitting your enemies closer. Also, if you right click, you just drop the grenade in front of you and you have a chance of getting a sneaky kill that way. Last time I did this tier list, I had this grenade in C list. I personally, I, I would put it back in C list as the damage is pretty good to get your enemies killed or sometimes it's super, super low. So then you can get a quick little shot in there and they won't be able to pretty much recover from that. Cannot financially recover from the situation. You know, I'm saying if not, that's cool, whatever. The next grenade that we have, I know is a fan favorite inside the shotgun farming community. And that is the Mulatov. The Mulatov is the Molotov of shotgun farmers. Mulatov hits the ground, it creates a fire area. If you got your opponent trapped in it, it creates burn damage on them. The longer they stay in it, the faster they burn. What's nice is if they run outside of the fire area, they have that burn effect for a few seconds, which sometimes you get a cheeky last second kill as they're trying to run away from you. One problem I do see with the Mulatov, if you throw it high into the air to try to throw it far, it doesn't really go too far and it falls so slow. It's like it has moon gravity on this sucker as it falls through the air. It is a good weapon, I will say that, but eh, it's a good throwable. And last time I had an A tier, and you know what? As it is a fan favorite, I know it still can get many kills, but sadly, I'm probably gonna drop this down to, to a B tier. Yeah, you heard me. The Mulatov is good, it's great, but there's a few new grenades inside the game that personally I think just add a little more oomph to the game and you don't have to worry about that slow fall time. So now we're going to talk about the Lemonade. The Lemonade has had a huge change since last time I've done the tier list. This weapon now acts as like a impact grenade as once it hits the enemy or whatever you're trying to throw it at, it will instantly explode which will cause damage to the person and what's nice it also blinds them so unlike with the pineapple how you have to cook it and then throw it away for the fuse it will explode right as soon as it makes contact so this is a great weapon if you want to hurt your enemies blind them then even get possibly up behind them you get a sneaky little shovel kill which you know we like those shovel kills they're good and for that reason i believe that this lemonade last time i did a list i think i had it i think i had it somewhere like in the B, maybe even C, but now because the way that it is, I'm going to throw up in the A tier. Don't get me wrong, I would still grab Mulatovs, and I know that they can still do a lot of damage. I feel like the Lemonade with that blinding effect really adds to the damage that could come out of the kill. So that's why it's in the A list. If you don't like it, like I said, make your tier list. I'd love to see them and drop them down in my Discord, baby. I'd love to have you there. Now let's talk about the last throwable of shotgun farmers the last throwable of shotgun farmers is the onionade the onionade is a fun grenade as once you throw it it creates like a gas out area i would almost call it like a tear gas grenade i don't know how far i can really go with saying that but whenever you throw this as it does with the lemonade it also creates a blinding effect and the lemonade has yellow splotches on your screen as the onionade creates like a gas smoke your screen gets blurry and it's hard to see through, which makes it a little more difficult. I do feel like it does a little bit more damage compared to the Lemonade. And it's nice. It's almost like a smoke screen also. It's just one of those grenades that is great to have whenever you need it. Looking on the list here and where the other throwables are, I would also throw this in the A tier. I do feel like it really holds up to the absolute power that it has. And a lot of people sleep on it. I would say if you pick up these onion aids and you use them correctly, your opponents will not be able to know how to maneuver you. You're just, you become an unstoppable force. And that's what we want. All right. Now we're going to talk about the best thing <sighs> inside of shotgun farmers. And that's right, fam. The Bok 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 Box Unstoppable. Mr. Celia Girl, come up into the crib. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. This man is unstoppable. And we know literally if you have this man in your hands, 
you will win the game. Not even to mention, if you're in the sky, you slowly fall to safety. And you know what? We need that kind of support in our life. So this man passes E, passes D through C, B, A, S to triple S plus tier, baby. That's our boy, the Bok Bok. All right, everybody, this has been the Shotgun Farmer's Weapon tier list of the newest update that we have. Everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. Slap that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And you know what, friends? Drowning on land is out. I will see you all in the next one. Deuces.